Hey guys, what's up? It's me. It's been a long time, and I know, and I do have reasons for that, which I'm just gonna go over really quickly because I know that once I see the trailer, I'm not gonna want to talk about anything else. So basically, short, really, really short version. I'm back at school my senior year. I'm directing a senior film, so I have no time for myself and basically nothing at all, and the fact that I'm be able to record this right now is kind of a miracle. And two, I'm still having some technical issues and just that I don't have the time to edit stuff. And since my Genlock reaction videos had really low audio for the show, I have to go back in, record the episode and overlay on top of it to make sure that it matches properly. And surprise, surprise, I don't have time for that. There's my cat. Uh, this is the Ruby volume seven trailer. Um, it's just like a minute 30. Uh, I'd seen stills from it. I don't know if Nora and John show up in this, but we have seen their outfits. I'll talk about that after. I have some thoughts. Um, I'm very excited for these girls. We didn't, they didn't show this at RTX. Um, they just showed like a play blast of part of the first episode, which looked really cool. I loved seeing the play blast, honestly, and I'll maybe put that up if I have time to edit together an RTX video, which probably won't happen because I've been saying that for the past three years, give or take. Um, I'm excited to see my girls. Weiss's ponytail looks a lot more manageable than it did in the concept art, which makes me happy. And Blake has the bye bob. So I'm just going to scream every time she's on screen. So prepare yourselves for that. Let's just jump into this, Scoob. I just fuck me up. Many have described these as uncertain times. I'm trying to do what I think is best, but Aww. I really can't tell if what's best is what's right. Aww. This isn't right. This whole city... It's on fire? It just seems awful. So, what do we do? Well, we didn't Trash come can. this far to fail now! Oh, ye! Until now, Ugh. I believed it was impossible to truly turn the tide. That's gnarly. Somewhere. That's from the first episode that they showed us at RTX. We find ourselves in a position of needing a new approach. I love you, Ren. Yeah! That was she loud. She will keep returning stronger and stronger unless we destroy her. Dude. That's how we can help. I'm such a slut for the trope of, like, protagonist attacking this guy. Yes! I love you, Blake. Oh, she got her weapon fixed. I was honestly expecting things to go a lot rougher. <gasps> why did you just why did you just keep it on your belt? Why are you- Thank you so much for checking out the Volume 7 trailer. If you want to keep the hype train going, you can check out the Ruby Complete movies over there. Or if maybe you want to switch things up, watch all of Camp Camp Season 3, you can check out the playlist. I don't know why the audio cut out. Uncertain so, times. Yeah, my I guess I muted it somehow. I don't know why. My headphones have been weird. I'm glad I muted it at the end there. Okay, so I have thoughts. Uh, I'm really glad that we got to see Nora and Ren in it. Um, I would like to personally thank Aaron Wynn for Ren's design this season. <laughs> Because, like, Ren has always been top tier. He's always been at top tier, very much a snack. And then having the braid this season just, like, took that to another level. And while part of that was probably designed, I think part of that was probably to make life a little bit easier for the animators. But, like, I saw his and Nora's design on Twitter, and I just immediately kind of had this moment of just... Fine wine. I love that boy and I love that girl. And I have the show has, of course, shoved me back into the eternal bisexual struggle of I want to date both of these characters, but they're dating each other. So thanks. <laughs> um, I'm going to try to frame through this. Ironwood, are you doing OK? Like we knew he wasn't doing good, to be completely fair. We knew he wasn't doing super, super hot. I'm just trying to scroll. Uh, shout out to the new voice actor for Crow. I've seen a lot of um, stuff online of people kind of hating on him or one guy kind of hating on him specifically, which like, fuck that. Um, he did a really good job. Like, he nailed the voice, honestly. And if I didn't know that it was no longer Vic McNipple, I wouldn't have known otherwise. So <laughs> I love Ruby's new look a lot. That being said, I don't know which girl to cosplay first because like Yang looks super comfy and I've worn pants like that before. But also Ruby such a look and I've cosplayed every version of her, so I feel like I should do Ruby. But I've also cosplayed almost every version of Blake. So I'm mostly between Ruby and Blake right now. I feel Blake calling to me a little bit because of the bye bob and I gotta rep that because as another as a bi Aaron, I feel like I'm compelled to. <laughs> but also, that's a look. But also, I don't wanna do cat suits again. Carolina made that hard enough and the pleather that they used for that no longer is being sold. 
Um, I'm very glad that Lysa's ponytail is more manageable than I thought, because I thought it was going to be worse. That being said, that is going to be super heavy. So please talk me out of cosplaying Weishini. Um, where was Ironwood? I got distracted. Yeah, no, Crow did a fantastic job. Why do you just keep it on your belt? Why do you keep it on your belt? That's just like, we know that they're keeping their stuff somewhere. Why did I, why not put it in there? Like, I get it's nice to have it on your person, but literally just having it hanging off of your belt loop, like, I've lost my ID for school by doing that. And my ID for school is only a $25 replacement fee. This is literally the end of the world that you're potentially carrying around on your waist. So like, also like, I love that they were like snatched up like this, but I hate how many people on the internet are gonna use this for like kinky purposes. It kind of pisses me off a little bit, but where did Ironwood go? Um, so we're seeing riots in the streets. I'm hoping that we're actually gonna see Faunus racism, which is a really weird thing to say. Oh yeah, so the Grim. So they talked about at RTX how um, the Grim for each region are kind of themed after something. For here, it's like prehistoric animals, which like definitely shows. And I super, super dig it. And that boy is a hot piece of meat and I love him. Yeah, I mean, he's more than a piece of meat, but like, there we go. Um, so like he pulls off the beard better than I thought. He's definitely a better scruff guy than beard. Oopsies. I mean, I love you, Ruby, but that's not what we're talking about here. That's an unflattering face. <laughs> he looks like the guy who played Spock in Star Trek Discovery recently, with when, when he had the full beard a little bit. I was expecting him to look more disheveled. I'm kind of glad that he doesn't, but I was expecting it. I want to see more of Winter, I know. So basically what we got from this, or from RTX, was that they're going to be fighting for a long time, which is what the sequence is from. That's all, like, episode one, um, which is why they're all going to be really tired, kind of in, like, the traditional avatar, they're hunting us no matter where we're going, we have no time to stop or rest, which is why they're so exhausted. And Blake has a really good moment with their sword, which makes me really happy, and I'll point that out when the episode comes out. Uh, I Again, I love that trope of them fighting the sky. Um, pour one out for Jean's hair. Uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm basically just gonna loop this. Yeah, so obligatory recap of it. I still love all the grim designs. Oh, I need to pre-order the art book. Oops. Um, I'm intrigued to see how this goes, but I'm hoping that we can get more world building here because a lot of the world building has kind of been shown and not, has been told and not shown. Um, so I'm hoping that since we're going to Atlas, which is kind of like the peak of all of this tension, that we'll get more of that. Also having, seeing this rendered after seeing like the play blast is very satisfying to me. Uh, and probably to everyone who saw it at RTX, but I'm just like, yeah, and they've really stepped it up. I love Nora's new look. I wish we got to see more of it. Wait, who was that? Who is that? I love you, bitch. I ain't ever gonna stop loving you, bitch. And he has more pink on his outfit. That's so cute. I love you. I do kind of miss her longer hair a little bit. Uh, and I do want to cosplay that outfit. It feels very Kingdom Hearts to me. Uh, yeah, that's them all beat up from the first one. Where was, who are you? You with the jetpack. We got another geist. Who are you with the jetpack? You have a streak in your hair. Um, I don't know who that is. It does look like a really sick look. It's like a weird Atlas adjacent look. I don't, yeah, so those look like two Atlas people. The one on the left more so than the one on the right. I'm guessing the one on the right is like more of a stealth operative or a little bit more rogue. My first thought as to what to call them was just to call them Kakashi. Uh, thanks to Naruto binge watching. Um, so yeah, Blake gets her weapon fixed. I dig Yang's outfit as someone who did wear those zip-off pants for a really long time. Thanks, REI. Uh, I love Ruby's new haircut a lot. It's very shonen. I very much dig it. And like her hair did get longer over the course of volumes four, uh, or three to four. It's almost interesting because in this shot specifically, sorry, I'm going frame by frame through this because this is what I do. I love her look. And at least in this shot specifically, it looks almost like Cinder adjacent, which I find kind of funny. Um, her outfit is growing on me the more I look at it, actually. Don't you just love smear frames? But like... Oh, I love you, bitch. I ain't, I ain't never gonna stop loving you, bitch. Uh, I missed the show. I missed the show. I'm not sure how I feel about Weiss's big long skirt. It definitely has like fate, uh, fate stay night vibes to it. Um, which like I can appreciate, but I don't feel like it's practical. Aw, oh, Blake, your backpack thing is gonna make me wanna cry if I make it. 
Um, yeah, I'm gonna need to get like the 3D turnarounds just from this because if I learn anything from cosplaying Volume 4 Ruby, it's that the concept art is not always what's on the final model. And I learned this the, like the day I was finishing it up, which is, you know, fine, it's fine. Yang, I love you. I love those creepy crawly wormy thingies. They're gonna be creepy and I can't wait for the sound design on that. I'm gonna go back to this just cause it's aesthetic as hell. I love my girls. I feel like this is just really indicative of all their personalities. I do feel like something about Yang's outfit, I don't know if it's just like with the way everything is zipped down. It does feel like she would get a little cold. I do dig that it's a jumpsuit. It feels very on her brand, but it does also feel a little bit like <laughs> she just walked out of like Chicago. Oh God, I love Ruby's outfit. It's growing on me the more I look at it. I'm gonna cosplay Ruby first, just out of out of choker solidarity. Just out of choker solidarity. Um, I love Ruby. I love her a lot. I miss her a lot. Uh, okay, yeah, so I'm just gonna watch it like one more time, probably in full, and then I'm just gonna wrap it up. Some more thoughts really quick. Many have described these as uncertain times. I'm trying to do what I think is best, but I really can't tell if what's best is what's right. This isn't right. I love that 2D asset. <laughs> it just seems awful. So what do we do? That well, doesn't have a lot of weight to now. it. Ugh, Until gnarly. Now, I believed it was impossible to truly turn the tide against Salem. Gee! We find ourselves in a position of needing... Smork, smork, smork. A new approach. Slay me instead, Ren. She will keep returning stronger and stronger. Yeah, I don't know what the purple was on that guy. Unless it was Tell us how we can help. dust. I'm gonna guess this is the end of episode one or episode two that we see their new outfits. I'm also like looking at the 2D assets because working on my own film where we have a lot of fighting, I'm trying to like. I was honestly expecting things to go a lot rougher. Huh? <laughs> Whomst? It was probably Kakashi. But Thank um, you so much for checking out the volume seven. Yeah, so I'm excited about that. Um, I'm not gonna pull it up, but I know that there was the new designs for Ren, Nora, and Jean. We don't see Jean's in the trailer, I don't think. We see um, Ren and Nora here, which like, I'm gonna keep it on this image because I love her. Um, so there's a lot of stuff going on about Jean's hair. Uh, I do have to agree, the way it's modeled does kind of make him look like an artichoke. Uh, but more specifically, it just reminded me of um, Caspar Fire Emblem, but I've also just been playing Fire Emblem. Like his pre-time skip hair was just all spiked forward. That being said, my roommate did point something out that I think I'm gonna like throw my ball in that quarter, my egg in that basket, and that every time Aaron Wynn mentions his hair, she uses the specific phrase of it'll grow on you. So like, there's a lot of people online who are like, oh, they teased us with the warrior warrior's wolf tail, ponytail thing. I'm like, oh, you know, you know, like, the, you know, you know, we, yeah. I do kind of miss Nora's longer hair. Dig in Ren's haircut, dig in Ruby's haircut, really dig in Blake's haircut. I really want, I kind of want her to do the thing that they do in every edgy movie ever, but more recently in Korra, where she just fucking uses broken gamble shroud to cut her hair into the bob. I would really love that a lot. Um, it does make me sad because I'm gonna have to buy a new Blake wig <laughs> and a new Ruby wig, but I've already gotten like more of those and know how to make them from scratch at this point. So I'm not really, that upset about it. Um, I really want to see Yang's reaction to when Blake cuts her hair off. I think that'd be really good. I want to see how their relationship unfolds in this because like with how it ended last season with everything that happened, there's still going to be all of that emotional weight to it in tandem with the fact that they start off the season being really sleep deprived and exhausted. And as someone who is constantly in a state of sleep deprivation, everything is heightened. Everyone's a little loopy you tend to be cuddlier than normal. So who's to say? Um, I do find it funny that Jean's outfit like stayed the same. He ditched the the hoodie. So I don't know if that means that he's no longer wearing the pumpkin Pete's hoodie under his armor or if he's wearing like, a, or if he just like cut it off. I think he's wearing something else under, which does make me kind of sad. Be, not so much because of like the sentimentality of it, because it makes sense that you wouldn't necessarily want to wear a hoodie from a company that your dead girlfriend sponsored all the time. Um, yeah, I'm not like 
that sad about it. I'm not sure how I feel about, like, his collar. He does look like a Chad, which I feel like is appropriate because Jean kind of is a Chad. He's not, like, far enough on the Chad scale to become a himbo. He's just a Chad. Um, he started off a twunk, and then he became a Chad. Um, which is, like, kind of sad. <laughs> that being said, Ren. <laughs> just... Yee. <laughs> Ren and Nora, I think, perhaps some of the probably the best glow-ups of this. Like, Ren, Nora, Ruby have the best glow-ups, I think. Followed very shortly after by Yang and Blake, and then Weiss. But I might, maybe with Weiss, it's just her really big skirt. I mean, I personally wouldn't want to animate that. Um, and I feel like it's going to obscure a lot of, like, line of action that we could get with her. Like, I understand why, because it is more militaristic, and it is more, like, more true to how, like, Winter's design is. Well, I don't know, I feel like it could have been something else, but, like, that's just my, that's my personal branding of, like, characters. <sighs> I love you, bitch. I ain't ever gonna stop loving you, bitch. I love Ruby's hair. I've probably already said that before. I'm probably repeating myself. But I do absolutely love her haircut. I think it's super cute. Show me my wife. Show her to me. I know she's, like... Oh, we're starting with Weiss, okay. No, I mean, Weiss is fine. I love her. Yay! Where is she? I love her hair. It's very. Sh I like that it's more punk. It's more shonen. I dig it. I'm already trying to figure out how to do her top thing because normally I would just do like a boned corset, but it seems like it has that netting piece that connects to it, and I can't tell if the white sleeves are on top or below of that. And then it has to extend down so it can't be too thick of a fabric. And then those don't really clip onto anything, but they have suspender clippers. And I'm thinking way too hard ahead of this. Oh, her scythe is damaged. Nice touch. I am very glad I watched this because I was kind of waffling whether or not on if I wanted to watch this or not. Um, just because of everything that's been going on lately with uh, RT in general, but just specifically with the animation company. Um, just kind of a lot of the, like personnel stuff that's been going on lately and with laying off such a large portion of the company and just a lot of stuff that's been going on um the most accurate meme for it has just kind of been the robin from stranger things chart that feels particularly relevant and so just i feel like it's kind of hitting me a little bit more than i was expecting just because like this is my senior year of college i am an animation student like i'm someone who's directing and lead animator on a film that is fight style that is fighting and in a tune shaded anime style so like like hearing about like how terrible work conditions are in every company but especially like one that i've followed for such a long time really kind of brussels my jimmies and just puts a not great feeling in my gut um so i'm still kind of waffling on a little and that's another reason why i haven't really been super trying very hard to get my reactions out there just because I'm still trying to handle how I feel about a lot of that. Um, I mean, that being said, like, this does make me excited for it. I'm excited to see where it goes. Like, the writing in the show hasn't always been the strongest. It definitely was stronger last season because they started incorporating more people and they're doing that even more so now. My only concern with that is that how the characters, like, how their character, if it stays constant throughout it and how, like, they're represented. Um, but besides that, I'm excited. Like, I'm excited to see where this goes, and I really dig Ruby's outfit. It's really cute. I love her. 